Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony, and I'm back. Not in the dungeon, but I'm back with a little exclusive for y'all. Picked up something. Something out of my comfort zone, you know. Usually a Jordan Nike guy. Dip and dab. I wear Tim's a couple times a year, you know, but what I got right here might surprise some of y'all. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. JD, JD Sports Korea. It's a couple locations. It's like Foot Locker Champs, you know what I'm saying? It's like a US store. I went in there and I was looking for some Air Force Ones all by, you know, uptowns. But I ain't getting none. Because I saw these instead. Me personally, not really a Adidas man. Really don't mess with the three stripes. I like the Yeezy designs, but I never own a pair just because I don't like the price point. They cost too much for me. These right here, they look like the Wave Runners, but I would say this is the affordable, this is the budget friendly, this is the poor man Wave Runner. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into the box. What we got here, size 10, Adidas, as we go. As we go. The shoe. This one back in the box because it still got the tag on it. Pull out the other one. Bam. Now, you ask them, how do you do that? The laces. It looked like the Wave Runner, right? It gave it that Yeezy flare. All I did was switch the laces. Got some laces from a pair of Nike Cortez. These joints right here. Which are 85% made from recycled material, and I am effectively reducing my carbon footprint. You gotta leave some for your kids. And that would be the planet. Leave the planet for your kids. Recycle. Go green. Go electric. But let's get back into the shoe. Another close up. So these do not have the boost like the Yeezys, but they got Adidas Prime. You see that right there? And honestly, they are pretty comfortable. It's like walking on a cloud. Not too much give. Yeah. So let's get into the review. I'm gonna get some close-up still, some shots, and uh I can tell me how y'all like them. Alright, so let's get into it. They got a data prime. Not the boost. Honestly, I think it's a little more comfortable. You got some almost fly knit. I don't know what the Adidas equivalent to fly knit is, but you got that. It's kind of winterized, rubberized right there. They tumble leather on the tongue. That's a nice touch. This is almost like a suede new buck. Same thing here. Then they got this plastic cord. I don't know if that's for support or what. And you got nylon. And then of course, a rubber sole. Dope shoe. So, Adidas as we go. Definitely a cop. My 
might even be a flip. They retail, uh, I got the receipt. Mm -hmm. 129,000 Korean won. That is roughly 115 US dollars. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's a, it's an affordable shoe. It's an affordable alternative to a Yeezy, which many times is hard to cop. It's just hard to get. As many as they make, for some reason, they all sell out. Or people got bots, robots, you know what I'm saying, that cop all the shoes before you can get one. But I'm definitely gonna rock these. This might be my, uh, my daily beater. And I wanna see people's reaction to them, so I'm gonna swap the laces on these, uh, put them side by side, drop a little picture of the Wave Runner, and um, you tell me what y'all think. So, like always, thank y'all for subscribing. Click like, comment, share, let your peoples know. If you need me to review anything, hey, put it in the comments. I just might do it. If it's a shoe I like, I just might cop and keep, you know what I'm saying? Put it on ice. Holla at your boy, holla at T. We out. It's T and Tony TV. Info K. Take Tony. Alrighty then. Alright, yeah, that's my good side. Make sure I ain't all glossy and whatnot. I don't want